Hey guys, Shelly here with your weekly entertainment news. Like the suit? I know, me too. Don't forget, social media, Showbiz India, Showbiz India TV, of course. Rock Hoop Lead Singh and Ajay Devgan recently shared the screen for the film Runway 34, in which they play co-pilots who land in legal trouble after an incident on a flight. But before Runway 34, the duo shared the screen in the 2019 film De De Pyaar De De Pyaar De De. In it, Ajay plays Ashish Mehra, who falls in love with a woman half his age, <gasps> Aisha, played by Rock Hoop Lead Singh. He introduces her to his ex-wife, played by the amazing Tabu, and his grown-up kids from his first marriage. Recently, while promoting Runway 34, Ajay confirmed that they are planning a sequel to De De Pyaar De. Talking about the sequel, Ajay said, <clears throat> I think they're writing the script. Let's see when. On the work front, Raku Preet Singh has some interesting projects in the pipeline, including Chatriwali, Dr. G, Mission Cinderella, and Thank God. Ajay, on the other hand, will next be seen in the film Medan, which will be released later this year. Armin Bwaja is certainly unstoppable this year. With already multiple projects on the horizon, the creator-producer made the announcement of another powerful drama that he'll be working on. Under his home banner, Bauja Studios, he has acquired the life rights of Dr. Rukmani Krishnamurti. Now, who is that? Well, she was India's, uh, um, she is India's first female forensic scientist and played a pivotal role during the 1993 Bombay blast as the head of explosive department at the Forensic Science Laboratory. She stood amongst all the men in finding the culprit of the Gasly Act. While speaking about the project, Armin said, quote, my mission is to tell unheard stories, stories that inspire the younger generation. The story of Dr. Rukmani Krishnamurti is one such. The audiences across the nation deserve to know her journey, her contribution to forensic science, and her role during the 1993 Bombay blast. I am really proud and excited to work on the project. Dr. Krishnamurti herself said, almost 30 years have passed since the 93 bombing blast, and yet the memories of the investigation is still fresh as yesterday. After meeting Harman and seeing his vision for my story, I can tell that it will be told the right way and honor those who worked sleepless nights to bring justice. Bauja Studios has a packed calendar with Captain India with Hansel Mehta and Kartik Aryan, the great Indian kitchen remake with Sanya Malhotra, Honeymoon starring Gippy Greywall and Jasmine Bassan, and an untitled Jackie Shroff film. Where you at, Jackie? Let's see what you got. Don't let your son take all your thunder. Naj Ashwin's sci-fi project, Project K, is one of the most ambitious, not to mention one of India's most expensive films of all time, speaking volumes for the scale the entertainer has been mounted on. Apart from being headlined by pan-India star Brahmas, Hindi film industry superstar Deepika Padukone, and the legendary Amitabh Bachchan, two were announced as part of the star cast for the VFX entertainer. And also joining the Project K family is... Disha Patani, who has been roped for an interesting role in the film. It looks like a spectacular year for Disha Patani at the movies with Ek Villain Returns, Dharma Productions' Yoda, a modern-day action entertainer, Balji's Katina, which she headlines, and now Project K. Go, Disha. It's your birthday. You gonna party like it's your birthday, huh?